one thing people don't understand is that well, everything in the third dimension is made of light. And so we are light and light is us. We know that the illusion of this avatar body and this chair I'm sitting on and the table that you're sitting at, what is this? This is slow down light waves. Mm -hmm. When you slow light down and the consciousness interacts with it, it collapses it into what we call solid matter. So solid matter is actually an illusion. Right. For example, the only thing stopping my hand from going through this chair is the repulsion of the electromagnetic frequencies. I don't actually touch the chair. And so if I can phase shift the atomic frequency of my hand to match the same frequency of the atoms in this chair, I'd pass my hand right through it because atoms are 99.999% empty space. Because of that, we're a fractal. We have consciousness, which is also light. A fractal is when you take, for example, if you look at a, a hologram and you go to one part of the hologram, one tiny piece and look at it, you'll see the entire image in that smallest piece. The only uh, thing yeah. you lose is a little bit of resolution. And so it's important for people to understand that this entire realm is a fractal of a whole. We're a fractal of the universe and our consciousness, even though it's one consciousness, it's also a fractal of main master consciousness. And it's really incredible that every thought that you think in your skull, it leaves your skull as a form of a light wave. Every time you think, we know this because we could put a cap on your head and a laboratory, put a little electrodes on it, sensors, and tell you to think about something, and it's going to show up on the computer screen. Mm -hmm. Because the computer's reading the light waves coming out of your skull. We can't see those waves because we can only see 1% of the light spectrum as human beings. We're limited. We don't see gamma rays. We don't see ultraviolet. We have this power of thought, which you have an ability to even travel through light, with leaving your mind and traveling light. You can actually connect to other realms, other dimensions, through conscious thought. Quantum entangling your light waves with other light waves that exist in the universe, not only in the third dimension, but even multiple dimensions. Your mind can entangle with somebody on the other side of the universe. A lot of the times, you know, you can say, oh, I came up with this great idea, but you really didn't. You right. just downloaded that idea because you entangled with the information. Big time mainstream quantum physicists and theoretical physicists are admitting that this is true now. It's not woo woo science no more. This is like what you're getting taught in university. When I was at MIT studying applied neuroscience, one of the things we learned about was this exact thing. The fact that not only can you walk in a room like you were saying earlier and you can uh, sense the vibe and you can actually transmit negative or positive energy mm -hmm. to somebody. If somebody's at a, at a low frequency and you walk in positive and high frequency enough, your light being can actually raise their energy level. Right. And if you're not high enough and then they're low, they right. can actually drop your energy level. Right. It depends on how strong you are consciously. And then also we talked about the fact that we can entangle with information throughout the entire multiverse. And if you're able to discern that information, if you can put the action behind it, it could be one of the greatest inventions. It could be Web3, it could be NFTs or whatever. All this stuff comes from other places.